Welcome to NASA Space News, your daily premier source for space exploration, innovation, and astronomy news and updates. SpaceX released the final design of the orbital launch tower to the FAA. According to the proposed document, SpaceX is proposing to construct two permanent integration towers to integrate the Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle. Each tower would be approximately 480 feet tall, with a 10-foot lightning rod on top, and include black cladding. SpaceX used this image to show the integration tower with Starship and Super Heavy on the launch mount. This means in the meantime, until the integration towers are constructed and operational, SpaceX would use a 450-foot-tall crane to integrate Starship and Super Heavy. Talking about SpaceX Starship, let's take a quick look at what's going on with Starbase Boca Chica. Booster 4 and Ship 20 are still waiting for their tests. Several engines from the Super Heavy prototype were replaced with other engines, and also one Raptor vacuum engine for the S-20 was transported back to the production facility. We can expect the first cryogenic tests this week. GSE-8, the last tank of the orbital fuel farm, has been fully stacked, so it will soon be transported to the launch facility. Booster 5 is in the high bay and already consists of 20 rings. Currently scheduled road closures for Highway 4, from September 20th to the 23rd, from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m., and on the 24th of September, from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's it for today. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for all future updates.